Starship's flight to more than a dozen kilometers is still holding. However, the first launch of the V2 Cargo Dragon is still a go. SpaceX says goodbye to one of its founding fathers, and we finish with a moon landing as today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. So last week, Elon Musk informed us that Starship will attempt its 50,000 foot flight this week. But being that rocket science, or rocket engineering as Elon likes to put it, is subject to change, a fifth static fire was scheduled over the weekend for Monday. However, that never happened. Instead, a cryo test or wet dress rehearsal was performed on Wednesday night. A notum was then set in place with the FAA, restricting all flights from the surface to an unlimited altitude this weekend for the 15 kilometer flight. But again, things changed. Now the notum is gone and word is starting to get out that SpaceX is targeting Monday. And the altitude is being further reduced from what was originally 20 clicks to then 15 as it were, and now 12 and a half. Road closures are still in place for this mission through the 9th. Patience is key here. What SpaceX is about to attempt with this launch is new territory for Starship. So they're gonna set themselves up for success the best they can, even though the odds are against Starship surviving and they know it. They're flying by the seat of their pants, metaphorically speaking, of course, since this is both an uncrewed flight and Texas is just too hot for pants. My mom bought me those pants. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to have to call her. If their efforts are successful, however, we can only speculate what the next step is for Starship. My guess is probably higher and faster suborbital flights to test the heat shield capabilities. But one thing is for certain, in the near future, we'll be seeing some super heavy booster action. It is currently under construction and will be needed to help Starship reach orbit when the time comes. Elon was recently honored in Germany with the Axel Springer Award, where he shared his expectations, as they currently stand, for placing a crewed Starship on Mars. I feel fairly confident about uh, six years from now. So every, the, the Mars, uh, Earth-Mars synchronization occurs roughly every 26 months. So we had one this year, the summer, and uh, so that means in roughly like about two years, there'll be another one, um, and uh, then two years after that. So I think, I'd say if you say six years from now, I think highly confident. Uh, if we get lucky, maybe four years, uh, and then we wanna try to send a, an uh, uncrewed vehicle there in two years. Moving on to Dragon news, Tom Cruise is buying used for his trip to the space station. The commander for his 2021 mission to film a movie in space, Michael L.A., tweeted that, God willing, and the creek don't rise, I'll be leading the X-1 crew on the first purely commercial orbital mission in history a little over a year from now, using the Crew-1 capsule that is currently in space docked to the ISS. That capsule will soon be joined by another Dragon. The next SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket to fly will be taking a Dragon capsule to the nest for CRS-21, but not just any Dragon capsule. The first of the version 2 series, modeled after the crew capsule. It can hold 50% more supplies than the previous version, and it can dock autonomously without using an arm for berthing. The launch is scheduled to lift off tomorrow, December 5th at 11.39 a.m., weather permitting. Then on December 10th, SpaceX is slated to take the SXM-7 satellite to orbit for Sirius XM. The record-setting seven-time-flown booster that carried the last flock of Starlink satellites to space safely returned to the port. Local photographer and friend of mine, Greg Scott, managed to snap this heavenly picture of B1049.7 riding triumphantly on the drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. <gasps> In other news, a co-founder of SpaceX has left the company. Tom Mueller tweeted on Monday that it was his last day at the office because he is retiring, or has retired. Thank you, Elon Musk, it was quite a ride, to which Elon responded, thanks for everything you did to help build SpaceX, some of the best memories ever. Which no doubt has to include their first day in the office with the mariachi band and maracas. That's Tom on the far left there. Elon, on the other hand, is kind of hard to find. But now it's time for today's honorable mention. <laughs> Forget Mars, and their attempt to catch up with the United States of the 1960s, last week China launched the Chang'e 5 lunar probe aboard their CZ-5 rocket. And this week, the spacecraft made touchdown near Mons Umlauf Rümker in the Ocean of Storms. The Chang'e 5 probe has landed successfully on a lunar surface. Uh, it is ready for subsequent experiments and also the sampling. No way! <gasps> That's great! We landed on the moon! I've been waiting such a long time to use that clip. Worth it. Shortly after securing its spot on the moon, the lander collected some surface samples with the space shovel. 
Then the ascent stage, carrying the cargo, lifted off from the lunar surface on Thursday to rendezvous with the orbital stage that will bring the samples back to Earth. Those samples are expected to contain basaltic rocks from late-stage volcanism. NASA did tweet their hopes that the Communist Party of China will share its data with the global scientific community to enhance our understanding of the moon. Since, you know, they probably used stolen technology from us and the Russians to make it happen. Sorry, but if I'm going to give them an honorable mention and live with myself, I have to put an asterisk by it. And look, I think that's fair. I mean, Lance Armstrong stole his own blood and he didn't get the luxury of an asterisk. He got his seven Tour de France titles taken away. So you're welcome, China. China. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed what you saw, why not receive more by joining us on Patreon or here on YouTube's membership program. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a normal weekend. And until next time, Godspeed. Thank you.